Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Rashmi and today I'm going to show you how to crochet this cute little unicorn. If you're after a written pattern, then please follow the link in the description box below. For this tutorial, we are going to use 100% cotton yarn in these colours. If you wish to use exactly the same colours as I have, then go ahead and check out the description box below as I will leave all the details in there for you. I'm going to start off with our pink yarn and I'm going to work this with my 3.5mm crochet hook. So to begin, you're going to wrap the yarn around your two fingers, make an X at the base and we're going to turn them over. This is the side we're working with. Put your crochet under the first, pull up a loop using the second. Now keep this loop nice and loose and we're going to pick this yarn from here and make it go through your loop on your crochet and that makes your magic circle. Slip your fingers out and we can go ahead and work six single crochets inside this magic circle. Now if you're not a great fan of magic circles, we can show you an alternative. For that, you're going to work a slip knot like this and we're going to slip our crochet in there. And from here you're going to chain two. Yarn over, pull through the loop once, yarn over, pull through the two loop second time. So I now have my two chains here and we are going to work six single crochets in our first chain. So slip your crochet in this chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, we have two loops on our crochet. Yarn over, pull through both in one go. That's my first single crochet. I'm going to need six altogether. Here's my second, third, fourth, fifth and my sixth one. Once you have your six single crochets you can go ahead and pull on this yarn to close your slip knot. By doing this you will eliminate the gap that was in between your stitches. At this point I would highly recommend for you to use either stitch marker or a scrap bit of yarn or a paper clip or even a hairpin to identify the start of your round. Now to start the next round, we are going to put our crochet in the first single crochet of our round one, yarn over and pull up a loop. Now in this particular stitch, we're going to go ahead and work two single crochets in the same stitch. Each time when you work two single crochets in the same stitch, it's called an increase. Yarn over, pull through both, that's my first single crochet of this round. I'm going back into that same stitch and going to pull up a loop yarn over pull through two and let's go ahead and place our stitch marker in our first single crochet of this round. From here you can go ahead and work two single crochets or an increase in every single one of these stitches all the way around. And my last one we're going to work two single crochets in there as well. There we go. Now I'm back at the beginning of this round. Let's take this stitch marker out I'm going to place my nail in that place instead. So to start round three, you're going to start off with a single crochet in this first stitch. Place the stitch marker in that stitch again. And now from here, let's go ahead and close this. We are going to follow this on with an increase, which is two single crochets in the same stitch. So that's my first. And here's my second. Follow this on with a single crochet and then an increase and we're going to follow this pattern to finish this round as well. At the end of this round I have a total of 18 stitches all together. Let's take our stitch marker out and start the next round. Now in this round you're going to have two single crochets so one here and one in the next stitch and follow this on with an increase. Just like this, we're going to go all the way around this round and we're going to work one single crochet, one single crochet, follow on with an increase, single crochet, single crochet, and then an increase all the way around. Don't forget to put your stitch marker in place. So that's one, two, three, four. Here's my first single crochet of this round. At the end of this round, you should have a total of 24 stitches. Let's take a stitch marker out, put a single crochet in that place. That's our first single crochet of this round. Now in this round, you're going to have a single crochet in every single one of these stitches, and we're going to repeat that two times. So we will end up with two rounds of just single crochet. Each time, 
make sure you put a stitch marker in your first single crochet of the round and go ahead and work two rounds. At the end of this round, our stitch count should still be 24. And now we're going to work a slip stitch in our first single crochet of this round, like this. And I'm going to snip this color off. Pull this out of the stitch. And we're going to change the color over to white now. To do this, you can join this anywhere along the top part of your stitches. I'm going to just go ahead and randomly choose any stitch. I'm going to go in this one and pull this through. Like this. And we can go ahead and pull these tail ends inside. I'm going to chain one to begin. Now I'm going to go back into that same stitch and work a single crochet. That's my first single crochet of this round. From here, we're going to work a single crochet in every single one of these stitches all the way around. And we're going to repeat it nine times to have nine rounds of single crochet. At the end of nine rounds of single crochet, you should still have 24 stitches altogether. Let's take our stitch marker off and we're going to slip stitch in our first single crochet of this round. I'm going to chain one and let's go ahead and snip this color off now. You're going to follow the same instructions and make one more of these legs so that we've got two but the next one that you make do not step the color off it uh, because we're going to join them two and then start working on the body from there on so go ahead and make one more of these and meet me back here once you finish working the second leg as well you're going to join the two together with a chain three so we're not going to snip this yarn off this time we're going to chain three instead so that's one two and three we're going to connect this with any of these stitches that you please around here on the top. So I'm going to simply go ahead and put my crochet in one of these stitches, pull up a loop and pull this loop through the stitch that I had on my crochet. And that's a slip stitch worked in. Now from here, you're going to chain one like this, go back into the very same stitch and work your first single crochet. There we go. From here, you're going to go ahead and work a single crochet in every single one of these stitches all the way around. That's three, four, five, six, Eleven, twelve. So on one leg there should be twenty-four. So we've just worked twelve. We're going to keep working, going around until you have twenty-four. Twenty-three, and one more around this leg. I'm going to just move this thread out of the way and work my last stitch, and that's twenty-four. Once you have your 24 single crochets around one leg, we're going to work three single crochets on this chain three. So let's pull this stick closer so you can see it. So I'm going to put my crochet in this first chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, and work a single crochet. That's my first one. Go into the second chain, do the same. That's my second crochet here and the third single crochet in this chain, first chain that we connected it with. There we go. So three single crochets in the chain three here, and we are going to now go onto this leg. So we're going to go into the very next stitch and start working our single crochets. Again, around this leg as well, there should be 24. So that's two, three, 22, 23, and here's my 24th. So once you've gone all the way around the leg and worked your 24 stitches, you're going to be back in front of your chain three that you had. So this time around, we are going to, let's place it like this, the way we would be looking at here from the front. So that's what it looks like at the moment. I'm going to hold these together and flip this chain three where we have worked our three single crochets. So we're going to flip it over like this, exposing the bottom part of these chains. So now the stitches actually, because we've just worked three single crochets in it. So we're going to 
turn it over and now work three more single crochets at the base of these stitches so stick your crochet in here pull up a loop and work your first single crochet second one goes at the base of the second single crochet that we did and here's my third one right here Okay, once we have finished doing this, you're going to start your next round and we're going to go on top of our first single crochet. This is where we attached our yarn and started our first single crochet. So go ahead in the top part of this and we're going to work our first single crochet off this round. Now let's take a look. I'm going to put my stitch marker in place. Now all together you've just worked 54 single crochets, so 24 on this side, 24 on this side, which makes it 48, and in the middle we've just worked 6 single crochets, 3 at the back, 3 in the front, in the same chain 3 space, and all together there should be 54 stitches. Now from here you're going to have one more round of just single crochets. So go ahead and work a single crochet in every single one of these stitches all the way around and the stitch count should still be 54. At the end of this round I still have a total of 54 stitches and now we're going to start the next round. In this first stitch let's go ahead and work a single crochet and place our stitch marker in place like this. In this round you're going to have eight single crochets in a row followed by an increase eight single crochets and increase and repeat that all the way around at the end of this round you should have a total of 60 stitches let's take our stitch marker off and start the next round and in this round you're going to have a single crochet in every single one of these stitches let's place our stitch marker back in place and from here go ahead and work a single crochet in every single one of these stitches all the way around and we're going to repeat that five times all together to have five rounds of just single crochets at the end of five rounds a single crochet should still have a total count of 60 stitches let's start the next round with first single crochet in our stitch here and put our place marker in place now we're going to follow this on with seven more single crochets to make the total count eight so there's my first second third fourth fifth sixth seventh and here's my eighth one once you have your eight single crochets in a row you're going to work a decrease in the next two stitches put your crochet in pull up a loop go to the very next one pull up a loop and yarn over pull through all three loops in one go like this now follow this on with eight single crochets, a decrease, eight single crochets, a decrease all the way around. At the end of this round, our stitch count should be 54. Going to take our stitch marker out and work our first single crochet. And now in this round, we're going to have a single crochet in every single one of these stitches all the way around. And we're going to repeat that twice to have two rounds of just single crochets. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 54 to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch put a stitch marker in our first single crochet off this round and we are going to now have seven single crochets in a row followed by a decrease seven single crochets a decrease and we're going to repeat that all the way around from here we're going to take a moment and fill the legs up with some fiber fill and i would suggest for you to carry on filling the body up as well as we're working the rounds at the end of this round you should have a total of 48 stitches going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch and secure it with our stitch marker from here you're going to go ahead and work a single crochet in every single one of these stitches all the way around and repeat that twice so you have two rounds of just single crochets at the end of this round you should have a total of 48 stitches let's take our stitch marker off and work our first single crochet of this round and from here you're going to have six single crochets all together followed by a decrease six single crochets a decrease all the way around at the end of this round you should have a total of 42 stitches we're going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch 
and secure it with our stitch marker from here you're going to go ahead and work a single crochet in every single one of these stitches all the way around and repeat that twice so you have two rounds of just single crochets at the end of this round your stitch count should still be 42 we're going to start the next round with a single crochet here stitch marker in place and we are going to have five single crochets in a row followed by a decrease five single crochets a decrease and repeat that all the way around at the end of this round you should have a total of 36 stitches I'm going to take the stitch marker out and start our next round with a single crochet and we're going to follow this on with a single crochet in every single one of these stitches all the way around you're going to repeat that twice to have two rounds of single crochet at the end of this round stitch count is still 36 we are going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch and follow this on with three more to make the total four so we're going to have four single crochets followed by a decrease four single crochets a decrease all the way around at the end of this round your stitch count should be 30 we're going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch and from here on go ahead and work a single crochet in every single one of these stitches all the way around and we're going to repeat it three times this time to give you three rounds of just single crochets at the end of this round you should have a total of 30 stitches we're now going to work three single crochets in a row followed by a decrease three single crochets and a decrease all the way around at the end of this round you should have a total of 24 stitches we're now going to have a whole round of just single crochets so in every single one of these stitches we're going to have a single crochet and we're going to repeat that three times to get three rounds of single crochets at the end of three rounds of single crochets your stitch count should still be 24 we're going to slip stitch in our next stitch over like this and chain one and now we can go ahead and snip a long bit of yarn off so that we can use this to stitch the body and the head together now we're going to start working on the head and we're going to start with the same white color that we used for the rest of the body go ahead and work a slip knot and chain two that's one and two from here you're going to skip the first chain and in the second one we're going to work six single crochets in the same space that's my first second third fourth fifth sixth go ahead and close this gap between the stitches by pulling on the end of this yarn slip your crochet in the first single crochet of this round there we are and work two single crochets in that same stitch this is the start of your second round I'm going to go ahead and place my stitch marker in my first single crochet of this round and work an increase in every single one of these stitches all the way around In my last stitch now we're going to work the last increase here there we go now to start the next you're going to work a single crochet in this stitch there. follow this on with an increase so two single crochets in the next stitch so that's one and two and we're going to follow that around all the way so one single crochet followed on with an increase one single crochet and increase all the way around at the end of this round you should have a total of 18 stitches start the next round with one single crochet one single crochet so two single crochets one in each stitch follow on with an increase so two single crochets in the same stitch i'm going to put my stitch marker in one two three four there we are that's my first single crochet of this round 
and I'm going to follow the same pattern so two single crochets one in each stitch followed by an increase two single crochets and increase all the way around at the end of this round you should have a total of 24 stitches and in the next round we're going to have one single crochet one single crochet and one more single crochet follow on with an increase so two single crochets in the next stitch that's one and two put a stitch marker in place so that's one two three four five here we are that's my first one of this round and follow the same pattern all the way around three single crochets one in each stitch followed by an increase and repeat it all the way around at the end of this round you should have a total of 30 stitches going to start the next round with four single crochets in a row that's first one second third fourth and then follow this on with an increase four single crochets and increase all the way around at the end of this round you should have a total of 36 stitches in the next round we're going to start off with the first single crochet here let's put our stitch marker in place and five single crochets in a row followed by an increase five single crochets and increase and repeat that all the way around at the end of this round you should have a total of 40 toe stitches let's start the next round with our first single crochet off this round and let's place the stitch marker in place now in this round you're going to have six single crochets in a row followed by an increase six single crochets and increase and we're going to repeat that all the way around at the end of this round you should have a total of 48 stitches we're going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch let's place the stitch marker in there and in this round you're going to have seven single crochets in a row followed by an increase seven single crochets and increase and we're going to repeat that all the way around at the end of this round you should have a total of 54 stitches we are going to start the next round and have eight single crochets in a row followed by an increase eight single crochets and increase and we're going to repeat that all the way around at the end of this round you should have a total of 60 stitches we are going to now have a single crochet in every single one of these stitches all the way around and we're going to repeat that eight times so we're going to end up with eight rounds of just single crochet stitch count should not change it should still stay to 60. at the end of this round you should have a total of 60 stitches let's take our stitch marker off and work one single crochet in our first stitch of this round and we are going to now follow this on with seven more single crochets to make the total count to eight so here we go we're going to have eight single crochets followed by a decrease now so to work this we are going to put our crochet in the first stitch pull up a loop do the same with the next stitch pull up a loop from there as well we have three loops on our crochet yarn over and pull through all three in one go follow the same method so eight single crochets followed by a decrease eight single crochets decrease all the way around at the end of this round you should have a total of 54 stitches we're going to start the next round with a single crochet and let's put our stitch marker in place and from here you're going to have six more single crochets in a row to make the total seven so that's my second third fourth fifth sixth and my seventh one and after this we're going to work, work a decrease in the next two stitches so put your crochet in the stitch pull up a loop go into the very next stitch here and do the same pull up a loop we have three loops on our crochet yarn over pull through all three in one go follow the same repetition so seven single crochets follow on with a decrease seven single crochets a decrease all the way around at the end of this round you should have a total of 48 stitches we're going to take a moment and put some eyes in this unicorn's head and the eyes I'm using are these plastic eyes they are security eyes especially made for baby toys and uh, they have this plastic backing on once they go on they don't really come off so you can 
find that in many shops i will put a link of this particular type of eye down below in the description box so you can actually uh, get the same ones if you wish to now what we are going to do is exactly where you finished your work we're going to go in the opposite side here and we're going to put the eyes in around this side now i would suggest for you to do this in round 14 or 15 and you're going to have a space of eight stitches in between so let's go ahead and count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen so i'm putting my eyes in round 14. so to do this you're just going to hold this up and place the eyes in some people prefer to do this with um, sewing pins it's entirely up to you if you wish to do that that's totally fine whatever um, is more comfortable for you so once you put the eye in one round you're going to count the stitches so we've got one two three four five six seven and eight so i'm going to have eight stitches in between and in the stitch next to that one which is number nine i'm going to put the other eye in as well now before i go ahead and put the plastic backing on you need to make sure that you're happy with these eyes so while holding this up, puff up the rest of the face. They look perfect to me and I am happy with that. So I can go ahead and put the backing on now. There we go. Now from here, we're going to start the next round and let's take the stitch marker off. Work our first single crochet in that space where we have the stitch marker and I'm going to put this back on now in this round you're going to have six single crochets in a row followed by a decrease six single crochets a decrease all the way around at the end of this round you should have a total of 42 stitches let's take the stitch marker out now in this round you're going to have five single crochets in a row start off with the first one and place your stitch marker in place Follow this on with four more, so that's one, two, three, and four. And we're going to work a decrease in the next two stitches. So pull up a loop from the first one, and do the same from the second, three loops on our crochet, yarn over, pull through all three in one go. Follow this same method and complete this round, so five single crochets followed by a decrease, five single crochets, followed by a decrease. At the end of this round, you should have a total of 36 stitches. Going to go ahead and work a single crochet in our first stitch of this round. And let's place our stitch marker in place. And now in this round, you're going to have four single crochets in a row, followed by a decrease, four single crochets, a decrease all the way around. At the end of this round, you should have a total of 30 stitches. Going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch and put a place marker a stitch marker in rather and now from here you're going to have three single crochets in a row followed by a decrease three single crochets a decrease all the way around as you may notice this gap is obviously reducing with every single round so i would take a moment to fill this up before you carry on with the next round and from there on be mindful that uh, the gap is reducing so make sure to fill this up as much as you want at the end of this round you should have a total of 24 stitches we are now going to have one round of just single crochets so go ahead and work a single crochet in every single one of these stitches all the way around stitch count at the end should still be 24. at the end of this round you should still have 24 stitches i'm going to work a slip stitch in the next stitch over like this chain one and i can go ahead and snip this yarn off make sure to leave a long tail because you're going to be using this to stitch the head and the body together so pull this stitch down and there you have it this is the head complete we're now going to work on the arms for this unicorn and we're going to start with the same pink color that you did for the legs so let's start off by working a slip knot and tighten this loop around your crochet and work chain two that's one and two from here we're going to skip the first chain and work six single crochets in the second one from your crochet put your crochet in yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through both that's one we're going to need six all together here's my second one 
third, fourth, fifth, and number sixth. Here we go. Once you have your six single crochets, pull on this end of your yarn to close this slip knot further. We are now going to start round two and for that you're going to slip your crochet in your first single crochet of your previous round and pull up a loop. There we go. And this is my first single crochet of my second round and I'm going, going back in the same stitch and working another single crochet. So we're working an increase. It's two single crochets in the same stitch. Let's go ahead and put our stitch marker in first single crochet of this round and now I'm going to work two single crochets which is an increase in every single one of these stitches. In my last stitch, we're going to work an increase as well. Now at the end of this round, you should have a total of 12 stitches. Let's take our stitch marker off and start the next round. We're going to start off with a single crochet in the first stitch. Follow this on with an increase, single crochet and increase all the way around. I'm going to put my stitch marker back in that place. Here we go. And again in my last stitch of this round, I'm going to finish off by working an increase. And at the end of this round, you should have a total of 18 stitches. I'm going to start the next round by working a single crochet in our first stitch. And let's place our stitch marker. And now I'm going to go ahead and work a single crochet in every single one of these stitches all the way around. And I'm going to repeat that twice to have two rounds of single crochet with the same colour. At the end of your two rounds of single crochets, your stitch count should still be 18. We're going to finish off with this colour by working a slip stitch in our first single crochet. Then let's go ahead and snip this colour off. And now we are going to pull this out of this loop that we had on our crochet. Grab hold of the new colour. Attach it anywhere you like. I'm going to just pull it through one of these stitches on top. Like this. Give this a knot in place. And let these tail ends just be inside while we work our next few stitches. Put your crochet back into the same stitch and chain one to begin. We're now going to go back into that very same stitch and work a single crochet this time. And that's my first single crochet of this round. We're going to go ahead and work a single crochet in every single one of these stitches all the way around. And we're going to repeat that 15 times. So we have 15 rounds of just single crochet. Your stitch count is not going to change. It's going to stay 18 for every single one of these rounds. So go ahead and work 15 rounds of single crochet and meet me back here. At the end of 15 rounds of single crochet, your stitch count should still be 18. We're going to start next round with a single crochet in our first stitch. Let's put our stitch marker in place and follow the first single crochet with a decrease. So put your crochet in the stitch next to it and pull up a loop. Let's go straight into the stitch after that and pull up a loop. We have three loops on our crochet. Yarn over and pull through all three in one go like this. Follow this on with a single crochet, a decrease, single crochet, decrease, repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, you should have a total of 12 stitches. Now, before we do our final round, just take a moment to fill the arm up with some fibre fill. And while you're doing this, be sure to only go up to halfway point when you're filling this up. So you can fill this part up as tightly as you wish to, but leave the top part empty because by doing this, this will allow us to sew the arm onto the body and for the arm to sit, uh, sit, sit or lie down next to the body flush against it. 
if you fill it all the way to the top it just stands up on the side like that so go ahead and fill it up only halfway up till there and once you've done this let's put our crochet back in there we're going to do our final round it's actually a row because we are going to get rid of this we are going to make sure that the stitch that we're finished with with is on one side and we are going to now work a single crochet in the next five stitches and we're going to go from the front to the back and make sure that both of them have been worked in so to do this you're going to put your crochet in the next stitch over and look at the back and you're going to go in the stitch of the back as well like this yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through both of them that's my first single crochet of this round and you should be able to fit five so from the front make sure you're going from the back as well yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through both that's the second one let me bring this closer going from the front like this and making sure you come out from the back making sure that you've gone from front and back both stitches in one go yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through both that's third here's my fourth one and my final fifth one there we go once you've done your five stitches you're going to chain one and go ahead and snip your work off be sure to leave a long tail because this is what we are going to be using to stitch this arm onto the body and there you have it this is one of the arms completed follow the same instructions to complete another one now onto the ears and for that we are going to start off with a slip knot put your crochet inside and we're going to chain two that's one and two in the second chain from your hook we are going to work six single crochets and that's one two three four five and here's my sixth one once you have your six single crochets you're going to pull on this bit of yarn to close your slip knot further to eliminate any gap that would be in the stitches now from here we're going to find out our first single crochet of our previous round which is one two three four five six here's my first one i'm going to slip my crochet inside it can be difficult sometimes just the first time round when you do this but after that it does become easy and we're going to work two single crochets in the same stitch one back in the same stitch we're going to work another one here's my second i'm going to use a stitch marker to identify where my stitches are beginning or the round is beginning so that's two single crochets going to the next stitch working two more that's one and two and we're going to just like this work an increase in every single one of these stitches stitch count by the end of this round should be 12 here's my last stitch and we're going to again work two single crochets in that same stitch that's one and two now starting the next round we're going to take our stitch marker off and work a single crochet in place of that stitch marker instead let's place that stitch marker back in place there we go and in this round you're going to have a single crochet followed by an increase so two single crochets in the next stitch over and then a single crochet and then an increase last two stitches left single crochet and in the last one we're going to work an increase 
there we go now in the very next round you're going to have a single crochet in every single one of these stitches let's go ahead and work a single crochet in the first stitch first and place our stitch marker and a single crochet in every single one of these stitches and we're going to repeat that twice to have two rounds of just single crochets at the end of this round you should have a stitch count of 18 we're going to work a single crochet in our first stitch to begin the next round let's place the stitch marker back in place and we're going to follow this on with a decrease to do this you're going to put your crochet in the next stitch pull up a loop go straight into the stitch after that and pull up a loop three loops on our crochet yarn over pull through all three loops in one go and just like this go ahead and finish this round with a single crochet followed by a decrease single crochet followed by a decrease at the end of this round you should have a total of 12 stitches we are going to now slip stitch in our first single crochet of this round and chain one now i can go ahead and snip this yarn off keeping this tail quite long because we will be using that later to stitch this onto the body now you can go ahead and follow the same instructions one more time to create another one of these ears we're now going to start on the muzzle for this little unicorn and uh, for this you can go ahead either work a magic circle or a slip knot whatever method you prefer i'm working with slip knot this time chain two single crochets in your first chain here stick your crochet inside yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through both loops in one go that's your first single crochet You're going to need six all together that's second third fourth and from here you're going to work six fifth and here's my last one number six once you have your six single crochets pull on this bit of yarn to close up the gap between your stitches and now we can start the next round round two you're going to go into your very first single crochet of this round and work an increase so two single crochets in the same stitch there's one and two i'm going to now use a stitch marker to identify the start of each round and let's go ahead and work two single crochets in each of these stitches a second stitch last stitch here and there we go two more single crochets in this stitch as well so at the end of this round you should have a total of 12 stitches we're going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch here place the stitch marker back in place and we can go ahead and work and increase the next stitch over so in this round you're going to have one single crochet followed by an increase one single crochet and increase all the way around at the end of this round you should have a total of 18 stitches we are going to start the next round with a single crochet in the first stitch follow this on with one more single crochet in the next stitch so we're going to have two single crochets and increase two single crochets and increase all the way around at the end of this round you should have a total of 24 stitches start the next round with three single crochets in a row followed by an increase three single crochets and increase all the way around at the end of this round you should have a total of 30 stitches and now for the next round we are going to work a single crochet in every single one of these stitches all the way around and we're going to repeat that three times so we're going to end up with three rounds of just single crochets at the end of this round our stitch count should still be 30 we're going to start the next round with three single crochets in a row so that's my first single crochet let's place our stitch marker in place that's two and my third one after that you're going to work a decrease in this round so pull up a loop from next stitch and do the same from the stitch after that we have three loops on our crochet yarn over and pull through all three in one go just like this we're going to have three single crochets followed by a decrease and repeat that all the way around at the end of this round your stitch count should be 24 
we are going to take our stitch marker out and work a slip stitch instead. Chain one and now we can go ahead and snip this yarn off keeping the tail nice and long so we can use that to stitch this on top of the body. There we go and this is your muzzle. We're now going to work on the mane and the tail for this particular unicorn and for that you're going to have three different colours. We are going to make two of each in this size and one of each in this smaller size. Now the method for both of them is exactly the same. However, for this one you are going to chain 15 and for this one is 25. So I'm going to show you how to make one of these little tails and you can adjust the number of chains and make the mane as well. So start off by working a slip knot. Use whatever method you prefer to do this. And for the tail you're going to chain 15 and for the mane you're going to chain 25. That's one. Um, 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15. Once you have your number of chains depending on what you're making, you're going to skip the first three. So one, two, three, I'm going to skip these three. And in the fourth one, I'm going to work three double crochets. So yarn over, go in this stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through first two, yarn over, pull through next two. Now this chain three is my first stitch, this is my second. I'm going to have two more double crochets in that same stitch. Chain stitch. In the next one over, we are going to work five double crochets in the same stitch. So stick your crochet in this chain, pull up a loop, and we're going to work five double crochets in the same space. So that's two, three, four, and five. Now in the next one is going to be four. So in this chain, stitch you're going to work four double crochets so that's one two three and four we're going to follow this on with five double crochets in the next chain four double crochets in the chain after five double crochets four double crochets and you're going to alternate these all the way to the end once you finish working all your chain stitches, you're going to chain one and let's go ahead and snip this colour off. Now you're going to pull this out of this stitch and pull this down to secure it in place. Now to make this curl, you're going to go at the bottom of these chains where we started our work and start twisting it around like this. And just by doing this, this will form a beautiful little curl, like so. And there you have it. Follow the same instructions and make three of these for the tail and six of these for the mane. We're now going to work on the horn for this unicorn and I'm going to use this yellow colour for this. So you can either work a slip knot and do chain two or you can do the magic circle. So this time I'm going to use the magic circle. Wrap the yarn around your two fingers, make X at the base, put your crochet under the first, pull up the loop using second, pick this bit of yarn from here, make it go through the loop on your crochet and there you have it, this is your magic circle. I'm going to work six single crochets inside this magic circle. To do this you're going to stick your crochet in, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two and just like this work six of them all together. That's three, four, five here's my sixth one once you have your six single crochets in place you're going to pull on the this bit of yarn to close your magic circle you don't have to fully close it we can certainly do that later on now from here you're going to work in your first single crochet of this round to start the next round so slip your crochet in and in the next two rounds we are going to have a single crochet in each of these stitches so one single crochet in every single one of these stitches so stitch count for the next two rounds is still going to be six so let's pull up a loop that's one two three four 
five and six that's my last stitch of this round and let's start the next one again we're going to just have one single crochet in each of these stitches that's one two three four five and six there we go i can go ahead and pull on this tail to close the magic circle fully and we're going to start the next round and in this round you're going to have two single crochets in every single one of these stitches and the stitch count should be 12 at the end so that's my first one i'm going to put my slit uh, stitch marker on and go back into that same stitch and work another double crochet, uh, single crochet rather. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, and my last stitch of this round, eleven and twelve. Let's take our stitch marker off and start the next round. And from here, with a stitch count of twelve, we're going to work a single crochet in every single one of these stitches. And you're going to do that six times all together to have six rounds of single crochets so go ahead and do that and meet me at the end at the end of six rounds of single crochet you're going to slip stitch in your first single crochet of this round chain one and we can now go ahead and snip this yarn off with a long tail pull this through and let's turn this the right way around make sure to pull on this so magic circle is definitely close and we can turn this over later we are going to stuff this with some uh, fiber fill and then we are going to stitch this on we're now going to work on assembling all of these components together and starting with the head and the muzzle so go ahead and thread your darning needle and stuff this muzzle up with some fiber fill and we're going to hold this in place to get the position right, we are going to make sure that the muzzle is directly in between the eyes and it's uh, the bottom part of the muzzle is touching the, almost when you see, you see it from the front, it looks like it's touching the eyes, but it's not. So when you look over, you'll see that it's in the round below over here. So to actually attach this on, to stitch it on, you're going to hold this in place with one hand and go through the stitches one at a time so once through the stitch on the face and then once through the stitch on the muzzle like this and we're going to just trace this all the way around so once through the face and one stitch through the muzzle from here back onto the face again and once through the stitch on the muzzle and just like this you're going to make your way all the way around and stitch this on once you worked your way around you're going to secure this in place by creating a knot and to do this you're going to make the needle go through one of the stitches and make a loop like this you're going to Put the needle back into that same loop that you've just created and pull the yarn through it. By doing this, you just create a knot in place and that secures your yarn. From here, go ahead and put this needle back into that same place. Make it go through the fiber fill and we can now make it come out from here. And that secures the muzzle perfectly. Let's work on the ears now. First thing you're going to do is make sure that the stitch that you've finished with is on one of the sides and press the center so that the ear caves in so this is what it should look like 
and we are now going to place the head in front of us and count from the center out and we're going to count five rounds so that's one two three four five and this round is where the end of this ear is going to go so one two three four five and i'm going to quickly put my needle around this stitch like this and hold this in place so now that i know exactly where this is going i can use my sewing needles and place this sideways like this and stick the needle in there and you can if you wish to you can have a few more needles to make it more secure and you can do exactly the same with the other ear as well so make sure that it finishes on one of these stitches so i have made it go on this side this time because it's on the right hand side and i'm going to count five rounds over so one two three four five and this is where this one is going to go so i'm going to use a pin and secure this in place as well there we go now just holding this up straight you can check that if it is in line with the other ear and if you feel that it is which mine is perfectly you can go ahead and stitch it so to stitch this on you're going to while holding this in place we're going to go through the stitches on the head and then through the ears so when you're going through the ear make sure that you are catching the back and the front in one go so from here i've gone through the back stitches right there and now going through the front stitches like this that's the first one done and just like this you're going to make your way through all of these stitches so in the next one put your needle through making sure it goes through the front and the back of the ear like this stick it through and stitch this down and just like this make your way all the way to the end once you're finished with one ear follow the same instructions and stitch this one on as well now we're going to work on the arms and we're going to attach these on either side on the top of the neck right here so make the um, body stand up straight and we are going to hold the arm so that it's actually right on top of the foot like this in the center and while holding it in place you are going to just sew this end on top of the neck like this so going through the stitches each time And there we go going to do the same thing on the other side as well just secure this in place by creating a knot so a loop and then make your needle go through this loop that creates a knot in place and that secures it there we go i'm going to do the same thing on the other side as well and to position this Again, you're going to hold this up top around the neck with the wadding or the fiber fill out of the way. And then you're going to stitch this up on the top on the neck. Now we're going to work on attaching the head and the body together. And for this, you're going to use the done needle again. And we are going to make sure that we position the head in the right place first. Now, some people prefer to just hold it in place and then stitch it on. It's entirely your choice how you wish to do this. I sometimes like to use a stitch marker. Go once through your the body here and go through the head as well. So do this in the center of the front of the body like this. And then you can find out exactly where the center of the head is as well, which is right here of the neck rather. And we're going to close this and this is quite nice stitch marker because you just hold everything in place and you can now turn this around because my thread is finishing over here and i'm going to join the head and the neck together to do this you are again going to follow the same method as you've done for the rest of the things that you've joined so you go through once through the stitches on the neck so just the top part of this so you have to make your way around it 
like this that's the first one and just secure it down first by going through the head again as well like this once you feel that it's secure I can actually lift it up and now we are going to while holding in place you're going to go through the stitches on the head so one stitch from the head and one stitch on the neck one stitch on the head and one stitch on the neck there are 24 stitches around the head and around the neck so they should match perfectly and you go through them one by one and once you work through quite a few of these then you simply pull them and that should attach the neck perfectly just there we go and just like this work your way around the head so i'm going to leave this thread out just in case if i run out of the thread i can use this one to attach the other side now to connect the mane of this unicorn to do this you are going to thread the longer bit of this curl onto your darning needle and we are going to position these curls in the center part of this space here so between the two ears there is some space there that's where we're going to be putting our stitches or the curls in so to do this you're going to stick your darning needle around a stitch like this so you put it in from one side make it come out from the other and we're going to pull the thread through and now we are going to while holding onto the needle we're going to grab hold of the other tail that was coming out from our chains we're going to give this a little knot that's it. one i'm going to just give it a double knot so it is definitely secure there we go just give it a couple of knots and once you've done that you take your darning needle go back into that same stitch and go through the fiber fill and make this thread come out from another side and you can now go ahead and snip this off like this I'm going to follow the same process and get rid of this thread as well and just like this you go ahead and join all of these side by side in between the ears over here once you finish with the main you're going to stuff up this horn with some fiber fill and we're going to position this directly in front of our curls or the main so to do this you're going to hold this in position like this and that's exactly where you're going to stitch this use the same method as the neck or the ears so you're going to go once through the head once through the rim of this horn and stitch these two together once we're finished with the horn we're going to go ahead and use pink yarn and make three buttons in the front as well and to do this you're going to knot one of the ends and just in the center you're going to go in one of these stitches and come out from the just one stitch apart like this and you're going to secure this end in first by pushing it in because we don't want to obviously have this on show with the needle there we go and we're going back into that very same stitch and come out from the same place and we're going to repeat this four times so that's one and each time when you do this be sure to check that they don't overlap and just let that sit next to the other bit of yarn just like this so just make it a little bit flat three and making sure it sits by the side and one last time go back into that same stitch come out from the same stitch and that's that done there's the fourth one again making sure that it finishes on the side and it doesn't overlap or lie down on top of the other one now once you've done this you can stick your needle back inside at the bottom of this stitch leave a gap of two rows or the rounds rather 
and come out from the bottom of the third round there we go and from here I'm going to go ahead and leave two more rows and make another button right around here following the same instructions so going through the same stitches four times and making sure that the thread doesn't overlap instead it lies down next to or sits besides the one that's already there like this two more times from the same stitch going in coming back from this side and the fourth time we can actually just go right in the center and we're going to secure this in place now if you wish to have more buttons you certainly can do that and you can even change the color each time you can personalize how you wish to do this and now on to the final thing and that is the tail so turn the body over and we are going to use the darning needle to stick these in as well to do this you're going to hold the curl in place first so identify exactly where you want the curl to be i want my tail to be around here only thing you need to make sure is that it doesn't actually dangle all the way down so i would suggest for you to keep it halfway between the legs uh, being the point where it finishes so around here choose a stitch and you're going to connect this exactly the same way you connected the main so go ahead and finish that and i'll see you at the end now that brings us to the end of our unicorn. So this is our finished product and that's what it looks like. If you enjoyed crocheting this unicorn with me, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.